little siblings and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications to see some great content coming at ya. If you don't know, I post three times a week, Monday, Thursday, and Saturday or Sunday, kind of depending. Today's video, even though it's not really part of my wedding series, it kind of is because I mostly am just going to be talking about like questions that have to do with the wedding that people have asked. Today, I'm going to be doing a juicy Q&A. You guys asked me questions on Instagram and I wrote down like the 15 best questions and I'm just going to answer them and be truthful and honest and talk about them. Oh, also I forgot to introduce myself. If you don't know me, my name is Cindy McGee and Welcome to the YouTube channel. Let's get started. So I just want to preface this video because it has a lot to do with my beliefs of my religion and stuff. If you don't know, I'm Christian. I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, aka LDS, aka Mormon, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so let's just start answering the questions. Am I getting married young because of pressure from my family or my church? The answer is absolutely no. I would not be getting married if I was not absolutely in love, 100% sure I want to be with Dallin for the rest of my life, and 100% ready. And I honestly am all of those things. If you guys don't know much about the culture of my religion, people often get married between the ages of like 18 and 25. Not to say that you like have to or anything, like I don't judge anyone. I don't really care what people do. It's just kind of like the norm to get married young. I'm actually really thankful for that because I am 18 and engaged and I'm getting married like right before my 19th birthday. So I'll be 18 when I get married and a lot of people think it's really crazy and weird. Thankfully, everyone at my church is super supportive and happy for me as well as everyone in my family. So no, I didn't really feel pressured, but I'm really grateful that I have that support system. Was anyone in my family or friends against me getting married young? Honestly, no, most people were like really really excited for me in fact they were encouraging it before we even got engaged just because me and Dallin have been best friends since we were like little kids and our families have been best friends for pretty much ever and everyone's been waiting for our families to combine for so long if anything everyone was like crazy stoked not against it at all when do me and Dallin want kids kind of talked about this and why we got engaged so young video I don't remember what it is I'll link it if I remember we don't want kids for probably like five years I always tell people just because you get married doesn't mean that you're ready to start having kids I can like barely take care of my cat I have enough on my plate I'm learning how to become an adult I'm learning how to pay my bills like I just bought a house I kind of have a lot going on and I honestly am just not ready for a kid plus I'm not trying to be a teen mom and well I'm gonna be a teen for another like year and a couple months so I still have a while we're thinking about 23 at the absolute youngest 24 25 would be amazing but hey if we're married for like three years and we're like let's have kids then we'll just do it like whenever we really feel it is right and we feel like we're both ready we're gonna wait for the right time how did I know that Dallin was the one I feel like this is like the most common question people ask to people who get married is how do you know if they're the one there wasn't like one sign that was like oh my gosh he's the one it was like there wasn't a sign that there was anything wrong I've been in love with him for like so long and every single day is like another day that I just wake up and I'm excited to see him. I'm like upset right now because I'm not with him. I'm literally obsessed with him and in love with him in all the best ways. He makes me a better person. I make him a better person. We push each other. We motivate each other. He makes me happy. He makes me laugh. And I think most importantly, like these are the two most important to me is that I'm 100% completely myself around him and I really don't feel like I am like 100% truly myself around like most people. Like, yeah, I'm myself, but like I feel like I can do anything, say anything, act anyway, and Dallin will love me and be happy for me or whatever, you know? Like I'm really myself around it. I'm comfortable. He makes me happy. And he is my best friend. I go to him for everything. He's the one I spill all my gossip to. He's the one that I call when I'm excited. He's the first person I want to see in the morning. I want to hang out with him every single day. So I don't know. Like there's no real just like, oh, this is how you know they're the one. It's just think about it. Okay, when will Dallin be moving in? So, as you guys know, I bought a house back in September, and everyone was like, oh my gosh, why isn't Dallin moving in? And then we got engaged, and everyone's like, oh my gosh, is he moving in? When is he moving in? Everyone wants to know, when is he moving in? When we get married. 
As I said, I'm Christian and I'm a strong believer in waiting till marriage, which actually is the next question. Am I waiting to marriage? Yes. I made that decision when I was like, I don't know, four and I've just stuck with it my entire life. And having him move in before we get married would just be another reason to get tempted to not wait till marriage. And I honestly don't believe in living together until you're married. That's kind of also the reason people always ask, why don't you have sleepovers? Like you're both adults, you own a house. Well, it's not that we can't. It's not that people are holding us back telling us no it's that we don't want to put ourselves in a position where we're gonna make any mistakes it's supposed to be safe for marriage like living together and having intimacy and all that is meant to be saved for marriage that's the way that God made it and that's the way that we're supposed to do it I know that society tells us everything is opposite of that but I don't believe in society I believe in God so <laughs> Also, I just want to add, I'm not a judgeable person whatsoever, and I'm not, I'm really not just saying that. This is the way I'm going to live my life, so if you're chill with me doing this, I'm chill with you doing whatever. So, as I said, I'm waiting till marriage, and honestly, you guys I know are watching this video just to hear me talk all about sex, so let's just hop right into it. Here we go! <laughs> I have a couple questions that I got asked like a million times. Am I scared for my wedding night? A little bit. I'd say like 2% scared, 98% absolutely stoked out of my mind. I mean, I am a teenager, I have hormones, of course I want to, you know, do the dirty, but gotta wait till marriage, and then it's not dirty, then it's amazing, and a God's gift. I'm scared just because, you know, I've heard it like hurts the first time, and you know, all the details that I've heard I'm a little bit scared about, but I'm also really, really excited because I love Dallin, he's my best friend, I'm comfortable with him, and we're gonna make it so so much fun and I'm really excited to finally get to be intimate with him. I mean, who's not excited to have sex for the first time? Another reason, and I know a lot of people are gonna ask like why I decided to wait till marriage, it's not just because my religion told me. Trust me, I know people in my religion who didn't wait till marriage, so your religion telling you something doesn't mean that it's just gonna happen. Like you have to make that choice on your own and you have to really like believe in it and want to do that. I've always believed in this just because like I really think of sex as a very sacred thing and that I don't want it to be with more than one person and the only way to guarantee it's gonna be with one person is to wait until married. I know me and Dallin are gonna get married and we're engaged so he will be the only one but it just has so much more meaning if he's actually my husband and I'm actually his wife and we like waited for this moment and hate when people take the meaning out of it and it's just for pleasure. It's not just for pleasure it's to get closer with the person that you're with. So the idea of sleeping around with a bunch of guys or just sleeping with every boyfriend that I've been with sounds terrible to me. First of all, that is like, sounds really disgusting. Don't know how many people they've slept with and then technically that means you've slept with all those people. That's just like one big mess that I do not want to be involved in. Throughout high school, I was so grateful that I made that decision because, whoo, I don't have to think of any of those boys that I talked to in high school like that. You always remember the first person that you have sex with and I get to, that gets to be my husband and I get to make it like people always talk about oh when I lost my virginity it was super awkward and like it just felt weird or it hurt and I didn't know what to do and I was nervous. I'm not nervous because I'm doing it with my best friend and we're just gonna laugh about it and be like hello I don't know what I'm doing and then he's gonna be like oh me either and then and it's just gonna happen we're gonna be like oh my gosh look at us. Oh I dropped my ring. So it just sounds a lot more fun to do it with my husband than my boyfriend, my fiance, or any of the above. Husband, all the way. I guess that's just a decent explanation of why I personally chose to wait till marriage. And to add on top of that, that's what God wants for me, so that's what I'm gonna do. So, you just heard me talk about sex for like a couple minutes, and you're probably wondering, wait, you're 18, you're getting married young, is that the only reason you're getting married? Because you're so excited? Absolutely not. Don't get me wrong, I'm excited. But it's not the reason. I already explained why I know Dallin's the one, and those are all the reasons that I want to marry him. I would gladly wait another five, ten years if it meant being with the one. Like, I am not a believer in divorce. My parents got divorced, and it honestly ruined my life. Sorry, mom and dad, just it's honestly true. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, like I've moved on, got a great life. You know how anyone who has divorce in their family knows exactly what I mean by that. I don't believe in divorce. I never want to get divorced, and it's literally not even on the option. I'm not gonna marry someone, commit to be with them for the rest of forever, eternity. 
just because I want to have sex. Like, that's so stupid. I don't know why people do that. I hope I made it clear. I'm not just saying that for the camera. Like, I'm being 100% 100% truthful. That's not why I'm getting married. Birth control. A lot of people have a weird conceptions about, like, my religion that were, like, Amish. I don't know. I'm allowed to have birth control. I literally had someone to ask me if we're allowed to use tampons. Yes, you can do whatever you want. So, yes, we're allowed to use birth control. I believe in birth control. Shout out to science for inventing birth control because I'm not ready for a kid. Personally, I am looking into and 99.9% .9 sure that I'm going to get the IUD. So I'm gonna do that probably even before December, or like beginning of December. If you guys want me to make a video about my experience and talk about like how much it hurt and how long the pain lasted, how many days I was crampy, let me know and I can make one. It like doesn't allow you to get pregnant and it's like 99% effective. It's way more effective than the pill and the pill you have to take every day, IUD, you put it in, you're good for five to 10 years. So that's amazing for me. On the downside, it's very painful to put in. So wish me luck. So another question, my reception versus my ceremony. So if you guys don't know much about my religion, we get married, well you don't have to, but I am getting married in a temple, which is basically like we have our church buildings, which are, you know, they're sacred, but then we have our temples and they're like really, really sacred. You have to have a recommend to go inside. And that's not because we don't want people to come inside. We consider it the house of God. Everyone can just go inside, then it would like ruin the spirit that is in there. So. It's not to like discriminate against people, it's just to keep it sacred, if that makes sense. Anyway, being married in the temple that binds us together, like our spirits together for all of eternity. So unfortunately, a lot of my family won't be able to go inside because they don't have recommends or they aren't church members. So that is why I'm doing a whole nother ring ceremony the next day. So it's basically gonna be like getting married twice. I'll officially get married with like the marriage license and everything in the temple. And then the next day I'll do like a ring ceremony. So we'll exchange rings and we'll have an officiant like give a speech and I'll walk down the aisle, the whole shebang. And then we'll have the reception. I'm not very good at explaining it so um, if you have like actual questions and you're not just trying to be like, oh, your religion's a cult, like, thanks, that's not offensive at all, then <laughs> let me know down below. That's pretty much all there is to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed or have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, DM me on Instagram. I would love to like go deeper in discussions with people through Instagram if you want. Um, Instagram Sid McGee. And I'm really nervous to post this. Okay, awesome. Uh, love you guys. Hope you enjoyed my conversations. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.